all in this together Make this world better Hello there everyone! Here we are at the Woodstock Food Festival We just had a dinner, very cool uh, How did you like it? It was really good. We had a uh, zucchini pasta with a pesto sauce and a really good uh, gazpacho. It was really good. It was freaking, really impressive. It was freaking awesome. Yep. Yes, that's how Chris Kendall uh, would say, and, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah, Chris Kendall, yeah. best raw food chef. Yep. And then we had uh, the duo up there, it was Megan too, preparing all the food. We had spicy and we had mild taste. Yeah, for the guacamole. Uh, it's really good. So what did you uh, do today? What was your activity? Uh, well, me and Ted, well, I, I had a class of doing hill sprints today. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to test some of the hills, hill sprints. I wanted to test some of the hills out today. And I was showing Ted. He's like, oh, let's do some, you know, let's time this out. So we, we tried a whole bunch of hill sprints and we got like a good workout on it. Nice. We did four of them, four 30 second hill sprints four really hard four different hills four different hills and then I had you know I then I took the group there took my class and Ted was like you know I thought I was gonna be done for the day and Ted was, Ted was like oh you're gonna, you're gonna do more huh I was like you, you're gonna do this right well, I was like grit and strength so yeah, yeah well I got some speed and strength too strength and, and so. speed. so we came along for you came along we did another eight yeah each sprints. Okay, so show yeah. your muscles. Are you protein deficient? I don't know. How about I that? hope. You know, I'm going to be so. losing my. Uh, your. Um, you know, I, 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 you know, I've been cutting off the shirts because my muscles are just too big. <laughs> Joking, that's not true. But it's getting there. That's almost true, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of a power lifter than a bodybuilder. That's what I do. Well. That's what matters, you know, power, energy. It's not about the size, it's right. about how you feel too. Because you can be like the biggest size, but actually be really not healthy. And most bodybuilders die younger than the majority of people. So isn't that That's sad? True. Yeah. You know, people consuming these powders, like uh, bizarre steroids. steroids. Yeah. Do you have any word on that you want to share? I, I, Have you ever done them before you was on this lifestyle? I still do. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I, I never done them ever before in my life. I've never seen them. Uh, a good documentary to watch is uh, Bigger, Stronger, Faster. And they talk about the pros and cons of steroid use, and that's one of my, my favorite documentaries. Uh, I don't. Th I think the, the cons are definitely worse than the pros. You damage your heart. Yeah, you short short term gains. Yeah, you and lose then your long, balls. Long term destruction. So. Yeah, no magic good. pill. Never works. No magic pill. Yeah. Great so. saying. These gimmicks don't work. One uh, seven day six packs program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want long term results, man, you got to go back to nature and see what the big rhinos are getting. See, yeah. see what they're eating. See they getting look, look at the yep. lean, lean horses in the fields. Look what they're eating. Just plants. Look at the gorillas, man. Just plants. They're huge. Very yeah. strong. Muscles. So how long you guys been on this lifestyle? Yes. I want you to guess. Uh, five years? Well, it's four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half and Mike's four and a half and I've been here for two and a half. What differences did you experience and what background did you came from? Uh, Let's start. Like a health background? Uh, so, did you, uh, before, what was your diet like and once you switched, what difference? I, I, grew, I grew up eating a standard American diet. You know, breakfast used to be like cereal, milk, orange juice, some eggs once in a while. And then for lunch might be a sandwich, you know, some bologna, fried bologna sandwiches sometimes, and then, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, chips, maybe a, a banana. And then for dinner, a classic American style dinner would be like roast beef, uh, some kind of gravy, mashed potatoes, uh, vegetable, and maybe some dessert, dessert, maybe some ice cream. And that's the diet that I grew up on. Until 16, I stopped drinking milk. Um, it's, it's ironic because I, I was working at the time. My first job was at a uh, 
Kmart and I was working in their dairy, dairy and um, freezer department. So I was stocking milk all the time, and I thought it was a good thing. But I never like, I never liked the idea of where it came from. It's kind of bizarre for grown people to bring other animals. Yeah. And I came across this website, Not Milk, and I really changed my mind on it. I was like, oh, I didn't believe it at first. Gave it a couple uh, weeks of no milk, and then I drank two big glasses, and I got this tremendous stomach ache, and just stopped drinking, stopped drinking it. And then, around my early 20s, I started doing a vegetarian diet, and then a couple years after that, I did more I of a starch. I think this wants your cocoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Then, um, <laughs> then I did a starch base. Could you uh, put it down? That cocoa? Yeah, yeah. That's what All right, it's, it's gone. Okay. So, <clears throat> I did a starch-based diet, and then I read this article on VegSource.com about how this one diet was better than the McDougal program, which is a starch-based vegan which diet. Which web website was that? VegSource. Oh, VegSource. Okay. And That's a great website. And I bought it, I bought that book almost for a novelty purchase because I was like, yeah, fruits, for most of your calories, so like, I don't know if I exactly buy that into that. I was like, well, but probably I want... die from starvation. Yeah, yeah, or protein deficiency. Mm -hmm. But Doug, you know, in the, in, the, in the article they said that he was doing, you know, took so much time writing that book, it took him like five to ten years to write that book. I figured there's something in it. And he's been doing it for 30 years. Not a lot of people, not a lot of diet uh, gurus out there stay a long time on their diets. They don't. They, you know, they, you know these, all these little carvers. Or, and actually, not that long. Or, or they, you know, if it stays short term in shape, but then you find, meet them at the store or somewhere and they out of shape, belly fat, and like Atkins died from heart attack, so you know, that's the proof that they died don't work. You can look at them and you see the results. And you look at the gram, which, you know, I've been exercising today morning, or you, you know, he, he's like the same age as we. Yeah. But he's now 60, right? Yeah. yeah and he's I, strong. Yeah, people complain about what he looks like and stuff. Well, I say take his exercise class and, you know, see how you, you know, right. what your thoughts yes. are after that. You tried that. to beat him because I so. was, I was work, I was his working out partner. So believe me, he's really strong. Mm -hmm. And so you changed mm -hmm. and we kind of covered that, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, my, that's, that's my dietary history. So. Okay, and yours? I used to eat what everyone else ate, just McDonald's and whatever my mom would make, roast beef, whatever. And I would hate like chewing on the meat, keep chewing, 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 I get a sore jaw, you'd end up like spitting it out. I was never a huge fan of steak, it didn't make much sense. And then I stopped drinking milk, all my acne cleared up. And How then, did you stop drinking milk? What did you start to do? I just researching on how to get rid of acne. Oh. Uh, milk? Yeah. Uh, no, I forgot what website. Like just in Google search. No, but, um, That's another one. Yeah, and I realized that like, almost everybody's lactose intolerant, and the only way not to be lactose intolerant is to build up a tolerance, just like alcohol. Yes. Everybody is alcohol intolerant until they become an alcoholic, and uh, they need it every day, just like people who need their hormone rich okay. milk need it every day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, got off that, and now I'm just on the clean, clean fruits. Yeah, going back. Yeah, and you are a, you are a fitness trainer? Or? Yeah, I'm a fitness trainer and a triathlete. Mm -hmm. Tri triathlons, I've done an Ironman and nice. several half Ironmans. He's so extremely close. fast. Oh, I was sprinting with him. He's like bolting fast. <laughs> <laughs> extremely I fast, was... extremely strong. Yeah. <laughs> well, you see, you can achieve anything on this diet. You can... It's, it's what you choose to do, you know. It's not like uh, this diet is for that or for spiritual reasons or for uh, yoga or for running or for bodybuilding. You can do anything you want. It's just a natural diet. It's in vegetables. It's, everyone knows vegetables is good for us. So why not to have all diet of fruits and vegetables, right? You can do anything. Healthy food, healthy people, healthy planet. It's really easy. Increased consciousness, and you will start to see world. You know what's wrong with the world. Yeah. Then we can help to clean and help to, you know, improve all the world once people get more inclusive vegetables. 
then we understand what how, that we going not really the right path right path right now. We're trying, but a lot of people suffering and having all kinds of conditions, diseases, taking drugs, and um, just being not happy. I don't believe you can be happy if you, you know, sluggish, you can't exercise, you can't even walk. So, mm -hmm. would you like to share something else with our viewers? Yeah, I got a YouTube channel, it's fruitliving.com. That's fruitliving.com. Or, sorry, it's a website, fruitliving.com. YouTube is fruitliving. Nice. Yeah, just uh, do a search for fruit and strength on YouTube and you'll find a whole bunch of lifting videos. I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch more like what I do for training and in eating and things like that. So So yeah. you both you I know I saw your videos too that de make like you put up like deadlifts <laughs> and things like that. It is heavy, heavy yeah. lifting. Bench press yeah. is like twice as body weight. It's yeah. like incredible. So only two percent of the weightlifting population can ever get there. And that means that I'm stronger than 99.9999 percent of the world because no, not every, not everybody weightlifts. And everybody says, "Well, how much you bench?" You know, at the gym. Well, I'm out, out benching everybody per pound. He can so. he can bench twice his body weight. I can't even bench my body weight. He's benching twice his body weight. So, so I think that proves it right there. Yeah, uh, and. Yeah. Another thing, uh, deadlifts was another cool one. I didn't expect to, to progress so fast. Um, I'm doing 440 pounds at around 140 pounds. And 140 pounds is deadlifting 440 That's like pounds. That's my weight is 139. Yeah. So, so it's, you could it's like more, lift me like. It, that's like pounds. it's like triple wow. my weight, and I did that in a year of ever doing deadlifts before in my whole life. Fruit wow. and veg, yeah. easy. Wow. So that's really, it really, it really shocked that's me how far I got. That's a real result. We're not making this up. Yeah, and you don't need any stimulants <laughs> yeah. to get your ass out of the out so. of bed in the morning or go to the gym and work out. You just have the energy from all the carbohydrates. Yeah. Drink up. And it's, it's, and it's just not me. We got the whole festival doing deadlifts, squats, hill sprints, hill sprints, hill sprints. Runs. voluntary so. hill sprints, voluntary runs. Yeah, it's we not just me. did around the lake. It's like six mile run the other morning, everyone's just... People are running multiple like times a day. There's people who do three 10K <laughs> runs every day here. There's people who do... Uh, is, is Michael Arnstein doing a 50 mile run? Yeah, yeah. And we got a big lake here behind the camera and a friend and I swam yeah, across the lake and back today. Wow. Well, let's show wow. if yeah, this still yeah, not yeah, too yeah. dark. Oh, well, you can see the lake here. Wow, that's a long swim. Yeah. How far did you go? All the way to the end? We went to the old peninsula. Oh, yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. That's so long. It's yeah. beautiful. Wow. So we're two kilometers, so easy. Yeah. And you make, I know I saw some of your videos to make educational also talks. Yeah. yeah. Is that what's your main channel purpose? Main channel is just to inspire people to answer questions. To get on fruits, vegetables, yeah. and yeah. learn yeah. about. It's it, it, doing anything is really easy if you're inspired. So just find someone or something that really inspires you and feed it to yourself every day. And Subscribe to Fruit and Strength and again Fruit Living. Fruit Living. Yeah. yeah. And you're gonna live awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully you can come here next year. Yeah, for sure. Together. Do some hill sprints, deadlifts. See you there. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. We all in this together.